Selena's gonna help me today take a look at this book, Eloquent JavaScript, third edition. A Modern Introduction to Programming by Marin Haverby. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but this book is really great. Thank you. I'll say Mr. H for bestowing this book upon us. This is a modern classic in my opinion. It's quickly becoming my second favorite JavaScript book of all time. I got it last week. Uh, it's by No Starch Press. No Starch Press, I don't think they're capable of publishing a bad book. If I could have every one of their books, I would, I would, I would do it. Sorry, I had to change locations because Selena's being bad. Anyways, the reason this book is so good, number one, is because it touches upon the one thing that no one wants to touch upon, and that is JavaScript theory. JavaScript is a pretty messy language, it's a pretty tough language. And to be honest, a lot of senior developers don't even know the ins and outs of it because it is so idiosyncratic. So it is excruciatingly difficult to talk about advanced JavaScript topics just because things that should make sense absolutely don't make sense in this language. There is one course and one course only that touches upon some of the stuff that this book does and that's JavaScript Understanding the Weird Parts by Anthony Alisea. One of my favorite Udemy courses, hands down, I've learned so much. It's, I think it's the best course on Udemy. It's the one course I don't think that ever needs to be updated because it just, it discusses the theoreticals behind the language. Part one, language. Part two, program structure. Cicadas are very loud today. Values, types, and operators. We have values, numbers, arithmetic, strings, then down to program structure, binding names, the environment, functions, console log function. Tons of stuff here. We got functions, data structures, higher order functions, the secret life of objects. There's even a project in here called a robot. And there's also exercises after each chapter, which is another rarity. You really don't see that in most JavaScript books or many programming books, most pro programming books, I'd say. Modules, asynchronous programming. There's another project. And then in part two, we go to the browser. And that's JavaScript in the browser, chapter 14, the DOM, chapter 15, handling events. I mean, it just goes on and on and it's so thorough. And putting these projects in here was a really big bonus. Part three, he even talks about Node towards the back of the book. And it's just every page. I mean, this is something that you can't get through in a week. This is like a lifetime learning book. Um, every page is just filled with something Something important, but also delivered in a way that's engaging, because a lot of times the important stuff can be really boring. Nice index here as well. It's about 445 pages. Well, I guess the content is a little less than that, but I mean, something to look at every night and get engaged with every night. Even uh, these graphics, there's just like nice graphics on almost every page here, code snippets. And this third edition was actually just released in 2019, so it is the modern, modern edition of this book. Between Eloquent JavaScript and the You Don't Know JavaScript series by Kyle Simpson, I think it is, those are just tops in class. These are, this book is just absolutely thorough. Um, I've read a few You Don't Know JavaScripts, but I haven't read the whole series, so I can't really comment on that. Uh, but I do know the ones I have read are really good too, so maybe we could check those out in a different video. But some of this stuff I do know, but a lot of it is new and just presented in a new, more robust way. Uh, so a great book for, I think, anyone's collection, any front-end developer, full-stack developer. Even if you're a back-end developer, understanding some of this stuff and you work with Node, I think is going to help you as well. So Eloquent JavaScript 3rd Edition, A Modern Introduction to Programming. Great book, Selena's gone. I, it's nothing new. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.